What's up, y'all? It's your girl, JJ, and I am back with another video. Welcome all my new subscribers. I really cannot believe that y'all got me to 4,000 subscribers. 4,705. Like, y'all really did y'all big one. Y'all, I'm so happy. I love y'all so much. If you subscribe to me, if you like the video, you view the video, any of that, comment on the video. I love you so much. Like, we really... We, we really locked in but anyways y'all so i'm gonna finally do this part two for y'all so y'all can see how my stripper experience went okay so we're gonna get right into this video but before we do don't forget to like comment and subscribe we on our way to 5k period okay so if you haven't checked out my part one of my stripper experience y'all need to go check that video out and then come look at this one okay so we're gonna jump right into this video all right so I got hired you know me and my sisters believe and we just talking about it in the car y'all and I'm just so excited I'm just telling them like oh my god I gotta go get me some more outfits so I'm telling my sister I'm like we need to try to find like a dancing class or something because I need to try to take some lessons real quick or something like I don't know how to dance like what am I gonna do so um so I was like okay we could try to find us a little dance class maybe we could find some because this was on Monday when I got hired and they wanted me to come back on Thursday so I'm like yeah girl like we gotta find something we didn't end up finding nothing but um yeah I just watched a whole lot of YouTube videos y'all when I say I watch so many YouTube videos it was this one girl I cannot think of her name but she would always do like that sexy like or less dancing and like she would i don't know i stalked her youtube and i used to stalk her instagram because y'all i was gonna learn something if nobody was gonna teach me i was gonna try to learn something and so next day come i'm telling simone like girl we gotta go downtown because i gotta go get me an outfit i have to go get something else because i had another outfit that i could wear but i didn't want to wear that no more like y'all i was like uh-uh that don't go with my shoes because i had some gold stripper heels I want to show y'all the heels. These was my heels. <laughs> and they so messed up now. Like, these was literally, I kept my my heels. But, yeah, y'all. So, these was my heels. So, I couldn't just wear anything. I had to wear something that would go with the heels. So, y'all, we shopping. We having a good old time. I'm just telling them, like, oh, my God. We're going to have to travel. I'm going to need y'all to come with me. Because, y'all, I just really felt like I was not. I really felt like I would have never did any of that. If my sisters wouldn't have been there i don't care like if my sisters wouldn't have been there i wouldn't have did it because i was that scared like y'all i was terrified i'm not even gonna lie i was terrified but it's like it's something about having my sisters there just kind of made me feel a little bit more comfortable i go pick out a few outfits so then i had got like this fishnet dress i had got like this two-piece little lingerie-ish type little i don't know back then we used to wear a lot of like high-waisted stuff i had picked up the high-waisted panties with the little uh bralette type whatever so i had picked that up and then i had got some other type of little fishnets y'all because i just felt like fishnets just brought out that inner that inner dancer so i get my outfits and y'all i'm just steady telling my sisters like i cannot believe i did this and i was just so damn happy about it so yeah y'all dominique ended up reaching out to me we ended up just talking about everything that happened and you know we both apologized to each other she apologized for the whole chicken situation because y'all we really was gonna throw down over some chicken y'all because i'm that person i don't care how much somebody is talking you could be doing all this and why you doing this i'm just about to just serve you a two-piece like just i'm just gonna take off on you because i'm not about to talk to you i'm not about to go back and forth because i just don't that to me that's just doing too much i'm not about to argue with you i'm just gonna take off on you like that's just that's just what it is so y'all you know we talking about everything and uh we apologize we move forward y'all because one thing about it i'm not gonna just cut off my friend because we didn't have an argument i didn't cuss out so many of my friends and almost beat up so many of my friends and i have beat up some of my friends because of shit like that and i moved past it you know we talk about it we move forward you know and i forgive them they forgive me because y'all one thing about it if i could forgive a cheating nigga i'm gonna forgive my home girl y'all and me and dominique is still cool to this day like after that we didn't have no issues or anything like we still cool that's still my home girl so then we're gonna fast forward we're gonna jump all the way into thursday so i'm ready i got my outfit you feel me my hair looking good i'm looking good i got me a you know my smell goods y'all i got my whole little everything i got a bag because y'all i had a little bag and everything so 
Thursday come, I'm nervous as hell. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I was so damn nervous because I'm like, although I, I auditioned, it wasn't that many people in there, you know? Like, it was people, but it wasn't. So, I'm just like, okay, Thursday might be different. Like, it might be a lot of people. Like, oh. So, I'm listening to that Drake album, y'all. And on my last video, I put the real her, but it was practice. It was the real her. It was, you know what? It was Drake's damn near his whole damn out, his whole album. Okay, it was this whole album that made me want to do this. Drake is show fault. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm really, this is really, you know, y'all, I'm visioning my life. Like I'm over here watching Black China. I'm watching Tip Drill. I'm watching all the old school dancers. Cause I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be just like them. Yeah. So y'all. <laughs> in my mind i just knew that i was finna be just like i'm finna go places and i'm gonna need a dancing partner all that y'all like that's what i'm thinking so we head to the strip club and when we got there they was having like an amateur night so i'm like okay you know that's cool i get to watch other people to see how they do and you know try to pick up some more moves because like i said y'all i was on youtube i was not playing i was literally looking at youtube videos on how to dance how to be sexy like how to drag my feet how to stand close to the pole so i ended up going with the um high-waisted little underwear thingy with the bralette i end up going with that with the gold heels because i'm like okay that's cute and at this time my hair was curly so i had like a side part curly hair and y'all i used to have my cheeks pierced so i had my little cheek piercings and i'm just like okay like y'all i really i don't know who i thought it was i i don't know who i thought it was so that's the outfit that i ended up going with so we get there i walk up in the dressing room and you know they just talking and they stop they look at me and you know they continue talking they talking about oh when they see the new girl they gonna fight her so y'all instantly thought they was talking about me but they was not talking about me they was talking about another new girl and y'all they was just like they you could just tell that these girls was not friendly like they were not friendly at all they wasn't somebody that you need to even be trying to go have a conversation with spark up a conversation don't even say hi hell don't even make eye contact because y'all them girls look like they i don't know like i get it a new girl in the club that's basically they look at it as a new girl especially if they cute you know they look good they're gonna take their money that's how they look at it so that's why they're not friendly and i'm just like uh uh no i'm not speaking to nobody y'all i was minding my business because i'm just like hell no nah. the way they was up in there talking they was in there talking crazy and then loud like they don't care like they most definitely try to intimidate you in the ghetto clubs they try to intimidate anybody that come in there especially if you cute now i feel like if you probably i don't know i feel like it's the same it don't matter if you cute or not if it's a new girl they gonna try to intimidate you because they feel like you in here trying to take our money so they gonna start some shit with you and i really feel like they probably would have started some shit with me if i would have tried to speak or say hi or you know but i'm just like uh uh no i'm not doing none of that uh, uh we are not cool i am not your friend no i'm gonna mind my business i'm gonna get up here i'm gonna learn what i need to learn do what i need to do and that's that but we are not buddies no y'all uh, uh the way they was up in there talking about girls like y'all and it was in there this one girl was like yeah my baby daddy keeps showing up to the club like y'all it was like the movies i swear it was it was literally like the movies it was just like ghetto -ness. like it was loud people just talking screaming and i go to the bathroom and i'm getting ready so i go inside the bathroom I go inside one of the little stalls like I went in like so when you first walk through the bathroom doors it was like stalls and then it was like the dressing room and then like mirrors and then it was like um what are those lockers you no know? and then when I walked in there y'all it stunk I ain't even gonna lie it smelled bad y'all it smelled so bad and I'm just like oh hell no to the point where I'm like holding my breath trying to get dressed like I'm literally holding my breath spraying trying to hurry up and throw my clothes because I'm just like it stinks so bad I'm texting my sister like it stinks so bad up in here like here I come I'm just like okay I'm not gonna be friendly with them I'm not gonna talk to them I'm not about to this is not high school I'm not about to be cool I didn't see movies hell I didn't see the players club y'all the players club was my favorite movie so I wasn't no fool I said uh -uh, I ain't gonna come up in here and make friends y'all not about to do me how tricks and Ronnie did diamond not gonna happen so anyways, <laughs> so anyways, I get dressed. I leave out the locker room. I go take my sisters, both my, um, I go take both my sisters, my, uh, my bag because I'm like, I don't have no locker and I'm not about to just sit it up in the locker. Like these 
girls up in here look like they gonna run through my bag. So I get my sisters my bag and then I go sit in front of the bar area. I see that big booty stripper girl that I was telling y'all about in my last story. And she in and out of the private room. Like I just see her coming in and out of the little private area room. So y'all, they had a door, but I'm so nosy. I wish I could have went and looked, but I'm just like looking like, why she in and out? I don't know what they was doing, honestly. I was just like really just looking around, just seeing what everybody was doing. You know, girls is walking around and some people was dancing. Oh, so, um, they was doing the amateur night. So y'all, they started the amateur night. Oh my God. Some girl, I don't know what she thought. Like, I really don't know what this girl thought, but she came in her bra and panties. Mind you, her bra and panties didn't match at all. Like, at all. Like, she looked like, I'm not even trying to be funny, but she looked like something was wrong with her. Like, she looked like she didn't have it all. Like, seriously. Yeah, she really looked like she was, like, out of it. And it was, like, this older man with her. She just looked really, really young, and he looked really, really old. So, she gets on stage y'all it was like the most horrible i can't even explain how bad it was but it was horrible like it was so bad she was like shaking herself and like trying to twerk it was so damn bad like when i tell y'all that song lasted it was probably like a two minute song they cut the song short but y'all she I felt so bad for her. I felt horrible for her. They didn't even let her get to the next part where you take off your top. I think they was just like, all right, like, you didn't did your go. <laughs> it's time to go. Y'all, it was that bad. Like, I'm not even being funny. So when she gets done, y'all, they like, okay, so y'all give it up for, and we just, I don't even know what her name was, but they was just like, y'all give it up for blah, blah, blah. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I was the only one clap clapping. Cause I felt so bad. I was just like, I felt so bad that nobody clapped for her. Like y'all, when I tell y'all nobody clapped, it was literally just me. <sighs> so she got off the stage. I hear somebody yell, better luck next time. And y'all, I felt so bad. Cause I'm just like, dang, that could have been me. Like, of course I wouldn't have been up there doing that. And I wouldn't have been looking like that, but Still, I just felt so bad for her. So she didn't get hired because the guy that was in the back, because the guy would wait behind the stage and let you know, like, you know, if you've been hired or whatnot. So she ended up, so when she got done with her dance and she ended up walking towards the guy who was in there that she was with. And then that's when they were leaving. And like, you could just hear everybody just like laughing, people talking shit. And I was just like, oh my God. And y'all, she looked like she was sad. Like she was crying. Like, I don't know if she, I don't know what made her think that she was going to get hired. Like, I really don't know what she was thinking, honestly, because there's no way in hell that she thought she was really going to get hired. There's no way. No. Mm -mm. so yeah y'all she ended up leaving so then the next person that go on stage she was pretty oh my god this girl was so pretty and she had like back in the day i don't know if y'all remember that that body wave hair and everybody would have like that turquoise bluish color y'all she had her hair like that she had like this little green two-piece outfit she was so bomb and she was up on that stage working that stage i was like oh yeah she is mom they better hire her so um she get up there she did her thing she and then the next song you know she took her top off she did a dance they hired her and so when she came back out she said next to me and i was just like staring at her because y'all back in the day i don't know why when girls were so pretty if i don't tell them they're pretty i would just stare at them so i'm just like staring at her and i was like your hair is so bomb like you're so pretty and she was like thank you and i was like where did you get your hair from and she was like oh i got this from bella dream because y'all i know if y'all been wearing wigs and weaves y'all know about bella dream here so yeah she was like i got it from bella dream hair and she was so she was so pretty she had this country accent like she was so cute so pretty so then she was sitting next to me and then um they had another audition y'all i don't know i don't know what was going on this night but it was wild but it was like this girl just oh lord i don't know why they auditions was just so whew. amateur night is crazy okay so it was this other girl, she got on stage and I don't know what she thought she was doing, but y'all, she just kept walking in circles, walking in circles, but she had no sex appeal. Like it wasn't sexy, it wasn't cute. She just was like walking in circles, like she was walking her dog. Like it was just, y'all, I was just thinking to myself, like I hope that I did not get up there looking as stupid as her. Like she looked dumb as hell. And I'm just like, this is crazy. Like this, this gotta be a joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> so then, you know, more strippers came, other dancers. And so, um, they ended amateur night because they didn't, they, you know, they only hired that one girl, that one girl with the country accent. They only hired her. Everybody else was trash. Not even gonna lie. Everybody else was, mm -mm, no. So then, um, the regular dancers come. So, um, a guy walks up to me and he was just like, yeah, what's your name? What kind of, like, what do you want to dance to when it's your turn? And, you know, I'm just talking to him and I'm like, oh, I want to dance to Drake. And I forgot what song it was. I don't know, y'all. I cannot think of which, I don't know if it was practice or the real her. It was one of those two, one of those two, because I was obsessed with those two songs. So I don't know if it was practice or the real, I don't know. So I told him the song and then um, he was like, okay, so you can dance to a slow slow. And then, you know, what other song do you want to dance to? Like, Yo, I was in love with 2 Chains at that time. So I probably told him 2 Chains. You know what? I told him 2 Chains and I think it was 2 Chains and Nicki Minaj. Most likely that's probably what I said because y'all, I was obsessed with 2 Chains. So those were my two songs that I was going to dance to. So he was like, okay, well, can I get your number? And y'all, I didn't think to myself like this was the DJ. Y'all, I don't know who I thought this man was, okay? But I ended up giving him my number. He ended up being a weirdo, but that's a whole nother story. So I gave him my list of songs that I want to dance to. And, you know, the other dancers come. Y'all, I don't know why they felt the need to start it off with this one girl. So this one girl come out. She cleans the pole. Y'all, I'm thinking she about to fuck it up. I'm like, oh, she, the way she, she's about to fuck it up. Like, she's about to show us all what's up. Y'all, why this bitch get on there? I don't know if y'all ever been to a strip club. Aw. Hold on, y'all. My sister's calling me. Hey, Tank Tank. Yeah, I don't know if y'all ever been to a strip club, but the way the poles are made, it's like a pole and then it's like a little circle thing at the top. Y'all, this bitch was like hanging from the circle thing, like jumping around like a monkey. Like, I kid you not, I'm not even being funny. Like, she literally was dead ass, like jumping from, she was jumping from side to side like a monkey, like a damn chimpanzee. It was... <laughs> it's funny as hell because it took so much out of me not to laugh like y'all y'all understand how straight face i was because i was so in shock that she was just like jumping around like that like really like a monkey i'm not even being funny she was naked jumping around like a goddamn monkey and i was just like okay this is different i see why they hired me so then the next person come she wiped down the pole too so i'm just thinking to myself like i know when i went I went up there. Nobody, you know, I didn't know about wiping the pole down. So I'm just thinking to myself, like, ugh, y'all, mind you, I have, like, this crazy OCD. So I'm just thinking to myself, like, ew. I went up there and didn't wipe the pole off. Okay, so the second person come up there. Y'all, the second person that comes, she's pregnant, okay? And mind y'all, this was a ghetto club. Yeah, this was a ghetto club and this was not a hood. Yes, it most definitely. But I didn't think that it was going to be like this. So the pregnant girl get up there. And I'm just looking like, she is pregnant. And I remember she was the one talking about how she was going to have her baby shower in the club. So I'm just thinking to myself like, sis, you're still dancing pregnant? Y'all, I did not know strippers would still dance while they pregnant. I didn't know that. So I was sitting there in shock. So I'm like, this is crazy. So I look over at my sisters and I'm like... But I'm trying not to make it obvious, y'all, because I'm like, these bitches ain't finna try to jump me because I'm talking about they, they pregnant stripper homegirl. So, y'all, it was so hard to watch. I'm not gonna lie. It was very hard to watch a pregnant stripper dance. That was that was still something that didn't sit right with me. So then she was done. Mind you, nobody threw money to the monkey girl and nobody threw money to the pregnant girl. So then y'all, we just, you know, watching all the dancers, watching everybody go up. I ended up getting me a drink from the bar and, you know, I'm just sipping on my little drink, sipping on my drink and I'm just watching everybody until it was my time to go up. So then some guy walks up to me. He was like, can I get a dance? And y'all, I'm nervous as hell because I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know like i just only you know pretty much got an idea what i'm supposed to do you know on stage like what, what, what? so i'm just like sure i walk over to him and y'all i'm just doing i'm y'all i thought i was lisa ray okay i'm over there dancing like diamond i'm just doing this i'm like trying to you know dance like kind of slow not too fast like y'all and he gave me ten dollars for that dance and yeah <laughs> 
I thought I was doing it, y'all. I really thought I was doing something. I thought I did my big one, not gonna lie. Like, I really was living up to my potential as I thought. Like, I really thought I was gonna leave with a whole bunch of money. So then, another girl come out. Y'all, when I tell y'all, she... I mean, she was, and it, mind y'all, it was slow. It was a slow night. It was amateur night. And then, you know, like people start coming in and out, but it was slow. It was very, very slow. So, like I said, this one girl come out, y'all, she came out. She had a nice body. She had like big old booty. Like she was bomb. I'm not even gonna lie. She was cute. So she get up there and she fucked it up, y'all. Like when I tell y'all she fucked it up, she fucked it up. She really did her shit. Like she could dance. Like she was doing all the little things on the floor, the little clicking with the legs, the little twisting. She was doing all of that, y'all. Like she was doing her thing. And I'm sitting there like taking notes like, okay, so you get down on the, okay, then, uh, all right. So, y'all, I'm sitting there watching because I'm like, man, when I go up there, I got to do something. Like, they not, mm -mm. I knew I was going to be better than the monkey girl and the pregnant girl. So, that's all that mattered. But still, I wanted to get up there and still, you know, do something. So, then she do her little two songs. And then, you know, people was throwing money. Uh, a few people threw some money. But, like I said, it was slow. So, wasn't nobody making no money like that. So, then she go off stage other girls get up there so y'all it's my turn it is my turn to get on stage so they was like coming to the stage jade y'all oh my god i was so nervous so i get up and i'm trying not to walk too slow because i'm like okay i gotta get on stage so i get up i walk past my sisters and i'm just looking at them like here we go again. I go behind the thing. I get on stage. I wipe the damn pole down. Because I'm just like, uh-uh. Nobody told me that that's what I was supposed to do in the first place. So, y'all, I'm mad as hell. But I'm sitting there wiping down that pole. So, y'all, oh, my God. So, they start playing my little Drake song, y'all. So, they playing my Drake song. So, I'm just up there just, y'all, I'm closing my eyes. I'm thinking I'm really like in Drake video. I'm sitting there dancing. I'm doing all of it, y'all. I'm walking around the pole, dragging my little feet. Y'all, oh my God, I really thought I was doing it. And I just, that's, that's just what I did. I just kept going in circles, kept going in circles. Then I drop it down low, pick it back up real slow. Like, y'all, I... Hmm. One thing about it, baby, them YouTube videos help. Y'all want to learn how to dance? Y'all better watch them YouTube videos. They really do help. So, y'all, that's just all I did. I kept going around, going around, drop it down low. I wish I could have did the splits because in my mind, y'all, I wanted to do the splits. I wanted to climb up the pole. Don't try to climb up that pole. Trying to climb up the pole is not... No, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So, y'all, my second song, come on. I'm over there fucking it up to the 2 chain song. Y'all, I'm just twerking it up down on the pole. I'm going down low on the pole. Like, y'all, I don't know why, but, like, when my ratchet music came on, I was most definitely dancing ratchet. Like, the stripper shit went out the door because I'm up there just acting like I'm in the club fucking it up. Like, <laughs> it was so ghetto. But I was just up on stage like, yes. A little bit of money was thrown, but y'all, I didn't make that much. And so, while I'm fucking it up on the song, on my last song, you know, they threw their little money. Some guy walk up, and he was just like, you're beautiful as fuck. You're beautiful as fuck. So, I'm just like, thank you. Thank you. But y'all, I'm still fucking it up on the pole. Like, still fucking it up. So, then my song in, y'all. My song in, I didn't give a damn. I'm still dancing, like... <laughs> They started playing something else. I was still dancing. They was like, all right, well, keep going, keep going. Y'all, I don't know what was, I don't know what took over me, but I didn't give a fuck. I was like, you know what? This is my chance. Fuck it up some more. So I'm up there really just dancing some more. Like, y'all, I'm really thinking I'm doing it. I know I look dumb. I know I look dumb. So, um, I ended up looking into the crowd because I wasn't really staring into the crowd because y'all like I would try to stare forward like I would try to just like look ahead and not look at people around like that worked for me. I don't know why but that worked for me. So I'm looking into the crowd and I'm like looking and I've seen this boy that I follow on Instagram but I didn't know if that was him because back then y'all I didn't have no contacts in so I couldn't really see that good but like I try to I, like I looked and I try to like look away and like act like I didn't you know you know I just kept dancing so my song is over I pick up my little money 
And then I go and I'm just counting my money, y'all. I'm over there happy. I go back out. I'm holding my money. I'm showing my sisters. I'm telling Simone and Tatiana. I'm like, look, y'all, look at my money. They like, how much you made? I'm like, $45. So I had $45. I had $10. So, and it was just like, oh, okay. Like, y'all, it seemed like it wasn't much, but it was like, some girls wasn't getting anything, okay? Some girls wasn't getting not a dollar. So $45 seemed like a lot of money to me. So I was happy as hell. So then I go back and I sit back down. The other girls go up. So then they was basically um, telling us like, you know, like it's slow tonight. If some people want to stay, they can. But, you know, they pretty much is going to be kind of closing early. So I was just like, you know what? That's my cue to go because I didn't see myself making no more money. So I tell my sisters, I'm just like, yeah, y'all, I'm ready to go. So they're like, all right, come on, like, let's go. And I had to give them something. I forgot how much I had to give them. And they're like, okay, come back tomorrow and uh, Saturday. I'm not mine. I'm just like, okay. I don't know why I thought I was going to get rich and be some stripper girl that make like a whole bunch of money, $500 in one night. I don't know. But I'm just thinking to myself like, uh-uh, I had to work too hard for this money. Like this, and this wasn't even much. I needed to make more money than like, I did. I'm like, yeah. I need some weed. And she was like, okay, well, I'm about to call Seven to see if he can, um, if he could buy some weed from him. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay, cool. And y'all, it's so funny because every time I would come from the Bay to LA and when I run out of weed, I would be like, you know somebody that sell weed? And she'd be like, I'm gonna call Seven. Y'all, she used to call Seven. <laughs> it's just funny because it'll be times where I already had some weed and she'd be like, you want some weed? And I'm like, I have some. She'd be like, I'll buy you some more. Y'all, she really used to be so she didn't play when it came down to here let's just say that so then she's like oh um she's like okay so i'm gonna call seven i'm like all right bet so she called him and he was just like he don't got none but um he could take us to his homie house where he'd be getting his and i can get some me simone tatiana we get in the car we drive we go pick up seven then um we head to seven homie house so we pull up seven hop out he go you know he get back in the car so we was on our way to go get some swishers y'all oh my god i don't know what it was about simone car back in the day but we stayed getting pulled over by gang um what is it called gang task gang force i don't fucking know gang whatever but anyways we stayed getting pulled pulled over by the police that used to be looking for gang members so y'all oh my god we literally pulled off the street we didn't even go far we pull off the damn street next thing you know we driving down just a little bit the police pull us over i see the lights i'm like fuck i'm like okay i'm telling seven i'm like give me the weed give me the weed i'm like because they don't never check me for some reason the police don't never ever check me for anything so i'm like give me the weed so y'all i'm in the front seat so simone driving i'm in the front seat seven behind simone and my other sister tatiana is behind me so I'm sticking my hand back there. I'm like, give me the weed, give me the weed. Police got out the car super fast and it was like, put your hands up, put your hands up. Y'all, I was so scared. I was like, <laughs> he was like, y'all, stop moving. He was like, I almost shot y'all. Stop moving. He was like, y'all moving too much. Y'all moving too much. And um, like seven was able to put it in my hand, but it was like, nigga, we almost got shot for you taking so damn long to put the fucking weed in my hand. So by the time he put it in my hand, that's when the police officer had got closer to the car. So I take the weed and it was like, what is that, ma'am? What is that? And I was just like, it's just my weed. And it was like, oh, okay, well, do y'all have anything else on y'all? And we was like, no. They was like, do y'all have any weapons in the car? We was like, no. So they asked him, what's his name? Because y'all, he had the tattoo. So they asked him, what's his name? They run his name. So they pull him, Simone, and Tatiana out the car. So they pull them out the car. They leave me in the car. So one officer is putting them in the car. And then one came on the side and he was just like, um, how much weed is that? And then I was like, just like $20 worth. <laughs> so I show him the weed and he was like, okay, um, let me see. And so he takes the weed. So he was like, okay, ma'am, step out the car. So y'all, I'm thinking like, damn, am I finna go to jail for this weed? Like, oh that's what i get for trying to be down like this is what i get for trying to be a good sis like y'all i'm over there like oh my god so they handcuffed them put them in the car i think they only handcuffed seven and they handcuffed i think my sister tatiana one of the two because i don't know someone was a handcuffed yeah someone was a handcuffed so they put them all in the car y'all i just knew once they had them in the car 
that I was going to jail. Cause I was like, why is all they in? Why are they all in the car and I'm not in the car? Like I just knew that it was I was going down. Like I knew I was going down. I'm just like, you know what? I should have never wanted to be a stripper. We should have stayed at home. Like y'all, I was really just sitting there scared as hell because at first like they wasn't saying much. Like they wasn't saying nothing at all. Like they was just like you know like searching the inside of the car and you know doing all that. So. You know, I'm really thinking like, dang, like, are we all going to jail? Like, what is about to happen? Like, y'all, I was so afraid. Like, y'all don't understand. I was terrified. And I'm like, I hope he don't got nothing. Because I'm like, of course, we didn't have nothing in the car. But I didn't even think like, dang, what if he got something? Like, what if he got something and we don't know what the hell he got? And we all go to jail for this shit. Like, y'all, I was terrified. I'm not even going to lie. I was scared and i know my sisters were scared too because it was just like it was so it happened so fast and it was so goddamn random like so random i'm standing outside the car and they questioning me they're like where y'all coming from you know just asking so many questions and i'm like i'm coming from the strip club i'm like we coming from the strip club like i'm a dancer and they was like oh you a dancer i'm like yeah they was like okay what strip club so i told them what strip club they was like oh okay they going through Simone trunk and they pulling stuff out, right? And at this time, Simone used to keep this baton. Is it called a baton or a baton? I don't know. Y'all know that police stick or that security guard stick? She used to keep that in her trunk. I don't know. <laughs> well, I do know why, but she used to keep that in her trunk, right? So I'm talking to the officer that's going through the trunk. The other officer that's beside me, he all on his phone scrolling on Facebook, y'all. And I was like, are you on Facebook? And he was like, yeah. But y'all, these police officers were so cool. I swear they were so cool. Like they wasn't even trying to, you know, be on no just wild, crazy police shit. Like they was really, really cool. So he was like, yeah, I'm on Facebook. And I was like, I was like, we just started laughing, right? So, um... The other police officer, he's pulling everything out. So he gets to the baton, y'all. So he pulls it out. I don't know if it's called a baton or a baton, whatever. So he pulls it out and he gonna say, he gonna say, is this part of your act? And I was like, no. <laughs> y'all, he thought he was so funny. Mind you, this is the police. He thought he was so funny. I was like, no, I don't use that. Like, it was so funny, but we all just started cracking up. So then, um, Simone and Tatiana and Seven, oh, I won't say that man's name seven they all in the back seat and so my sister is like it's hot in here it's hot in here i can't breathe and i'm like my sister can't breathe my sister can't breathe he was like relax she could breathe she's talking and i was just like oh my god so y'all they end up looking through the car they didn't find nothing because we didn't have nothing in the car no way so then they end up letting us um letting them get out the car and they end up letting us go and they gave me back the weed y'all i was like you know what like i need to smoke after this like we at this point like <sighs> I really need to smoke. We get in the car. Seven was like, give me the weed. I gave him the weed. And he was like, oh, just take me back up over there. Y'all, why we get out? Why he get out the car? He was like, okay, y'all chill right here for a minute. Y'all, why Seven get in the car with some other niggas and drive off? I didn't get to smoke. Y'all, I was sad. I was very, very hurt, okay? I really want to smoke. I was mad as hell because I'm just like, Simone, how long we supposed to sit right here? Like, is Seven coming back? Because I want to smoke. Y'all, Seven did not come back. He he did it. I don't know if he was spooked or what, but y'all, Seven did not come back with the weed or nothing. So then my sister Tatiana ended up just, you know, calling up somebody else and we ended up just getting us some weed and smoking. Y'all, my feelings were so hurt. My feelings was really, really hurt. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that was that night. Y'all, when I tell y'all to ride home, we was just like, this is crazy. Like, what the fuck? Y'all, y'all don't understand because from the weekend before that with Dominique and all that drama, I'm just like, yo, this has been the craziest damn weekend, weekend. Nigga pulling me by my weave. Like, y'all, it's just been so much going on to where I'm just like, this seems like a goddamn episode of Twilight Zone. Because, y'all, it was just crazy. So, I'm just like, I want to go home. Mind y'all, I was only staying until Friday. Even though I got hired at the club, I was only staying until Friday. So, I thought I was going to be able to dance from Saturday. Like, I thought we was going to get hired that Saturday when Dominique was out there. And I was going to dance all the way up until Thursday. And I was going to make my bread and go home. Like, y'all, I really thought it was going to be like that. So, I'm just like, damn. Damn. I got to go home tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to be able to stay out here and dance no more. So, I'm just thinking to myself, like, dang, I got to find some clubs out where I live. So, y'all, we just stayed up all night just talking and just 
just just talk so the next day come and um yeah it was you know i had to pack we went out to eat did our regular things that we normally do on my last day of me being in la and then i got my ass on the bus so the whole time on the bus i'm just like oh my god i really did this like y'all don't understand it just kept playing in my mind kept playing in my mind because it's just like i really lived out this fantasy that i had in my mind like i really just said you know what let's go for it you only live once we gonna try it it does not matter like let's go so i'm just sitting there like wow this is crazy like y'all i was way i didn't it was so crazy that i didn't even tell my best friend like i did not even tell my best friend so way afterwards but i was just like i want to tell my best friend but y'all i was afraid of her judging me like i was just like okay i don't want to tell nobody nothing yet until like this is really real or you know like i just i don't know y'all but it was crazy I ended up getting home. I ended up calling Dominique and telling her what happened. She was like, but it's another club in Frisco that I want to go um, audition at if you want to come. Y'all, I'm thinking to myself, like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> bitch, I'm not going nowhere else with you. But I'm just like, you know what? I might as well. Like, I might as well go. Like, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> I get pulled by my hair out the strip club. So... I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I'm telling Simone. And I'm just like, girl... Dominique want me to audition with her. Uh, Simone, she don't play. <laughs> she don't play. She's she like, I don't like her. She left the damn door unlocked. Like, cut her off. I don't like her. Like, no. Uh-uh. I Don't bring her around me. She was like, she's banned. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I literally never brought Dominique back around. Like, she she literally has never stepped foot in my grandparents house ever again like never again because Simone and Tatiana was not playing like no they was like fuck no do not bring that bitch around so um I'm just basically telling her like yeah she want to go to this club on Saturday and she's just like girl uh, if you go you know don't be surprised I'm just like well she's not like she gonna be staying at my house or anything so you know we just gonna go I'm just gonna have her pick me up and we just gonna you know go audition and I know y'all probably thinking like, why would you want to go do anything with her? She was getting at you crazy over some chicken. She was acting weird as hell when y'all was in LA. Like, why would you even want to go? But yeah, I was just like, you know what? Let me give it one more chance because I felt like I was giving up. Like, I was just like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. I didn't make my $500 that I thought I was going to make in one night. And I'm ready to just give up. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just give this one more shot. You know, you can't really say you don't like something if you ain't tried it twice that's the way i think so i was just like you know what we're gonna go for it we're gonna try it again we don't like it that's it i'm not doing it again and that's that so she was just like okay and so y'all i'm telling dominique like okay i'll go audition with you like i don't mind i already got my outfit ready because y'all i still have some outfits and i'm like my gold heels got my gold heels when i was in la i had ordered me a pole i had ordered like a pole off of ebay I don't know, y'all. I had spent, I forgot how much I spent on this pole, but I had ordered me this pole. And by the time I got home, it was delivered, right? Y'all, why I take my raggedy ass in the garage and I put this pole up, right? I didn't do a really good job because it was one of them poles where it's like, um, you stick it up to the wall and it pretty much will stay. Like it will stay against the wall and you stick it to the ground and you like pull it. So it's like really, really tight and really firm. <sighs> y'all i was just like you know what the only way i'm gonna learn how to really dance is if i practice like if i keep practicing keep practicing keep practicing so y'all i'm in the garage and i'm spinning on this pole i'm like twirling on like i'm doing the most i'm walking around say i'm trying to perfect my little sexy walk like y'all i was just like you know what if i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this right like i'm gonna take this serious as hell and i'm really gonna do it like i'm gonna learn so i'm watching youtube y'all and i'm doing it. every time i see them do something i stop and then i look again then i do it y'all oh my god so it was just one move that i saw somebody do so you kind of like you don't run but you kind of like walk sexy and then you like jump on a pole and you kind of like swing a little bit y'all why my dumb ass i kind of like <laughs> i kind of like did that and i tried to go up the pole y'all i did not secure that pole too good up in there y'all why i went flying like i flew into the, <laughs> i flew into the wall I, i'm about to hurt myself before i can even you know really 
live up to my potential like y'all and i was like uh -uh, i'm done for tonight and it's crazy because i started to record that but i did not i don't know why i didn't because that would have been so that would have been so embarrassing if i did record that i mean i completely flew into the wall it was so embarrassing and i really just was like you know what i'm cool y'all i'll pack that pole up and went and put it up under my bed because i was like yeah i'm done uh uh no more <laughs> no more it is back then they didn't have like dm like you couldn't dm nobody on instagram you would have to go down to an old picture and say something right so y'all i'm on the phone with my sisters and i'm just like you know on instagram i'm just scrolling 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 y'all why this boy the boy that i thought that i saw in the club even though i didn't know it was him but i mean how many you know bald head dudes with tattoos do you know so y'all why did he leave me a comment on one of my old pictures saying are you a dancer and i was like y'all i don't know why back then i didn't want people to know it wasn't that it was just so bad i just i don't know i just didn't want nobody to know like i didn't want nobody to know like i wasn't one of those girls that was trying to glorify it that's just what it is i wasn't trying to put everybody in my business and tell everybody like i'm i wasn't doing it for attention basically so he was like, um, yeah, he asked me that. And I was like, no, why? And he was like, I saw you last night in a strip club. And I was like, what? <laughs> Y'all, I was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? I was like, no, that wasn't me. He was like, you sure? Like, I I, I know that was you. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was you. I was like, no, that wasn't me. Like, y'all, I was like, no, this nigga, uh-uh, no, nigga, it wasn't me. And I thank God that his Instagram got deleted and me and him stopped following each other on Instagram, like, years ago. And I really thank God, but I swear the day that he ever comes back and I'm, <laughs> y'all, I would be like, oh, my God. But, yeah, y'all, I was so damn embarrassed. I'm like, oh, my God. So, yeah, after that, I was like, uh-uh, I don't want to dance in L.A. no more. Uh-uh, I don't want nobody to see me. I don't want nobody to know. Y'all, I didn't take no pictures. I just really didn't want nobody to know, like, at all. But I was just so happy to be a dancer, but I didn't want nobody to know. It was so weird, y'all. It was so damn weird. But I'm telling my sisters, like, this boy just hit me up, and he said he saw me. And it was like, oh, you know what? We was sitting by, like, a group of black boys. Like, they was, like, behind us. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I wasn't really looking in y'all direction. So I didn't really, it's like I seen him, but I didn't know if it was really him. But, yeah, y'all, that mess was so funny. Like, back then, it was not funny. I must have deleted them comments so fast. I deleted the whole picture. Like, I deleted that whole damn picture because I'm just like, mm-mm. I don't want nobody to know this. But, yeah, y'all, I was just like, oh, my goodness. I was just thinking to myself, like, okay, if I watch some more YouTube videos, if I try to at least get something, like, a little, a little two minute little something going on like y'all i practice so much in the mirror i was just like okay i'm like i mean you can't get away with being sexy but you gotta have some type of move that's gonna get you some money like you can be sexy and you probably get a couple dollars but it's like you have to do something 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 has to be cool like i don't know hang upside down walk on your hands i don't know do a front flip a back flip i don't know but you gotta you gotta learn how to do something like you gotta do something you can't just jump in the game thinking it was gonna think you're gonna just get rich like y'all i thought i was gonna jump in the game and make that money like i literally thought that and don't ask why but i really thought i was gonna just get rich like look cute and be rich boy was i wrong drake didn't tell me that part he didn't say that part next day so the next day come and it is now saturday so um oh lord y'all don't understand how hard it is not to say these people name during these story times so then yeah dominique called me and she was like okay girl i'm gonna come pick you up around like five and then we can head to frisco so i'm like okay babe y'all so she picked me up i got my outfit ready i got my stuff ready i already got my little um this time I wore the little fishnet dress. So it was like a long sleeve. And then it was like fishnet, short, super cute, V cut, super, super cute. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear that. So I got my outfit ready, got my shoes, everything. So um I ended up leaving, going with her to San Francisco to go audition at another club. Y'all, I should have never went with her. Let's just say that. She picked the whitest club in America, okay? She picked a club where everybody literally were skinny as shit, you know, just 
it was just a white ass club like a white club where you're not gonna see a lot of black dancers like it just didn't make no sense for us to go like it was pointless as fuck so we go we let them know like hey we want to audition you know dominique is light-skinned so yeah let's just point that out she's light-skinned as hell y'all the girls was in there they was just getting ready they wasn't too much worried about us because like i said like i don't even think that they it was probably like one black girl in there she was light skinned so i doubt that they even cared but y'all them girls they was they wasn't like the ones in the ghetto club they was just minding their business doing their hair makeup all that just getting ready but it was like so many mirrors like i saw the difference between the ghetto strip club and a nice strip club y'all the nice strip club had nice little chairs mirrors vanities all over the place like y'all it was beautiful i'm not even gonna lie like that strip club looked nice and i was just like okay this looks nice but i can't be dancing somewhere where you know the music ain't gonna be something that i could even dance to because i gotta dance to something that i can you know move to so yeah that strip club was better i will say the inside was better the girls was way better you know they looked kind of decent some of them was funny looking but you know some of them was cool but it was just like a whole different vibe like the vibe was way different like their locker room looked cleaner like they had a little area we can go and get dressed like y'all it was just way better in this strip club but i just already knew off the bat after you know actually walking in and seeing the girls and seeing how it was i was like yeah no i don't care if i get hired but i was just like you know what i'm still gonna audition i'm here like i'm already in the back might as well audition but y'all i was just like this is crazy like i still can't believe it and at this point i wasn't as shy like i will say that i wasn't as shy as i was when i first auditioned at that other club or you know when i went back and actually got hired at that club i wasn't that shy that's one thing i will say i was more i was a little bit more comfortable so i auditioned first so i get up there i dance they didn't even really it's like they had a stage but then they had a side stage so they didn't let us get on the pole exactly but they just had us on the side so um I get up there and I'm dancing to like some go-go music, y'all. See, that that's what I mean by this club being white as hell. So I'm up there trying to like catch the beat. Dancing to go-go music is hard. Like who dances? And it was a Destiny Child go-go. Like y'all know they quick to make a song go-go. So y'all, the beat just going pew, 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 ding, 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 pew, 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 pew. Like y'all, and it's Destiny Child. I would never let that, I would never forget that because it was just like, how the fuck am I supposed to dance to this? Y'all, I was so goddamn mad. So I'm up there just trying to like dance. Like I know I look dumb now. For sure, I look dumb at this audition. Like I'm not stupid. I know I look dumb as fuck at this audition. So then um, I get off stage, I go back down, I change back into my clothes and then Dominique go up. So I don't know how, how hers went, but she come back and then the um the lady take us two into her office and they told Dominique like, we're gonna hire you. And then they told me like, you know, like they wasn't gonna hire me. And I'm just like, I don't care. I don't wanna dance in this damn club, no way. Y'all don't even got no good music. Like, what am I supposed to dance to? Go-go music? Like, fuck out of here. So I wasn't even mad because I did not want to work there, y'all. Like, that was not the place I wanted to go at all. So then um, Dominique was all happy. She was like, oh my God, I got hired. She was like, but I feel bad that you didn't get hired. And I'm just like, girl, please don't feel bad. I don't want to dance in this club. No way. She ended up dropping me back off at home. And um, I called my sisters and I'm telling my sisters, both of them, like what happened? Because y'all, we'll be on three-way calls. It'll be me, Simone, and Tatiana on the three-way call. Really, it wasn't even a three-way call. Really, it was me when I would call. I would call the house phone and they had two house phones. So uh, they just both would pick up the phone they both would just be on the phone so that's how we would do that so um yeah i'm just telling them what happened and so uh they just like girl i'm happy it wasn't no drama like i'm happy she wasn't doing no weird shit and i'm like right right so um i told them basically you know like i didn't get hired but she got hired and i was like girl it's cool when you come back out here you could just find another club and i was just like you know what like i don't know y'all like it just wasn't for me i just figured in that moment like this is not for me like i don't i lived out my fantasy don't get me wrong like i lived out my stripper fantasy i danced but i was just like you gotta work too fucking hard for this money and if you don't know how to dance don't think you about to get on stage and look cute and make a whole bunch of bread no you actually gotta know some tricks it's basically like a how do you how can i explain it you basically you basically gotta do little 
you know, dances, little tricks. You got to do something to make somebody like make the crowd just ah, and they want to give you some money. If you get up there thinking you're cute and you're just walking around and thinking you're not going to make nothing. Like, no, you have to literally move the crowd. Like, you got to excite them, do some shit. Hell, I don't know. But you got to do some wild, crazy shit on stage in order to really make some money. And in my head, I'm thinking that I can just get up there and be cute. And that was that. that's how that was going to go. Uh, it was crazy. I'm not even going to lie. It was crazy. It's not something that in that moment, I felt like, yeah, this fantasy, this didn't go how I felt like it was going in my head. Like, I thought it was going to be good. Like, yo, I really thought I was going to make some money and I was going to be like just this next little dancer. I ain't going to lie. I guess I watched Players Club way too many times. I didn't watch way too many damn music videos. Yo, I didn't listen to Drake album way too many times because it was not like how all these people pictured it like i felt like even on instagram or all over social media everybody made it seem like strippers was just making money like they glorified it they made it seem like you dance you you know all you gotta do is take off a little clothes or you know some clubs you don't have to but all you gotta do is dance and you make this money so you know you get that narrative painted out everywhere that's what you're gonna think so y'all that's what i thought and boy was i wrong i didn't i swear y'all I wish that I would have just kind of like honestly looked more into what I was doing. Maybe learned how to dance, took a few classes, at least played with the pole. At least how I bought the pole, I wish I would have bought the pole earlier on and then practiced to see if that was something that I could even do because y'all, I completely jumped in there with no experience at all. So I was happy to even you know be able to experience it to see that it wasn't for me i was happy to be able to say okay i did it and i don't like it you know that's one thing i will say because it was something that i just wanted to do i feel like it don't matter what it is in life if you want to do it do it who cares what people think about you because that was my problem i cared about what people thought but then it's like you know you live and you learn who gives a fuck like do what makes you fucking happy at the end of the day period so yeah that's my advice to anybody that does want to dance actually know how to dance yeah actually know how to do something before you try to get up there trying to be cute because yeah you gonna you're gonna be like me but yeah y'all that is pretty much how it went for me i was done i was done and i was just like i'm not trying to go dance at any just any type of club but it was just like i just couldn't find a club for me like i didn't want to dance in the two two damn ghetto ones and i didn't want to dance in the white ass ones like i just couldn't find one that fit me like that's just what it boils down to and i gave up on my little stripper fantasy i lived it as much as i could live it like i gave up y'all i give up on shit fast so i gave up on that little wannabe dancer i did so fast it didn't last long at all <laughs> but yeah y'all that is the ending of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are on our way to 5k all right, y'all. Bye.